Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about concept and measurement of national income for UGC NET. And topics for today's video are GDP, GNP, NNP, NDP and we will also see measurement of national income in which we talk about three methods to measure national income, value added method, income method and expenditure method. So let's start it. First of all, we are going to talk about gross domestic product. In short, we can say that GDP. GDP refers to market value of all final goods and services which are produced within a country in a span of one year. GDP refers to market value of all final goods and services which are produced within a country in a span of one year. Market value means market price of these goods and services. And final goods means which are ready for the use of end user. Means final goods don't require any further processing. For example, TV, AC, mobile, etc. And GDP refers to market value of final goods and services which are produced within a country in a span of one year. For example, total goods produced in India is 1000. Means total final goods produced in India is equal to 1000. And the market price of per good is 10. 1000 multiplied with 10 is equal to 10,000. This 10,000 will be called our GDP. And one most important thing, GDP include everything which produce within our country, no matter who is producing. For example, one company from China do production in India. It will calculate in India GDP, not in China GDP. Now we will see formula to calculate GDP. GDP equal to C plus I plus G plus X minus M. Here C is consumption expenditure. Consumption expenditure means expenditure done by consumers on final goods and services which are produced within our country. Uh, for example, uh, uh, cooler, AC, mobile, etc. And I is investment expenditure. Investment expenditure means expenditure on investment goods. For example, tools, equipment, machineries, etc. Uh, G is government expenditure. As we know, government also do some expenditure uh, for welfare of society. Here actually through expenditure, we want to know production of our country. These goods are already available. That's why we are doing expenditure on it. And X means a value of export. And M means a value of import. When we minus M from X, it will become equal to net export. Net export means our exporting goods. We also include exporting good in GDP because exporting goods also production of our country. Na. And in GDP, we include everything which are produced within our country, no matter who is producing. Now we are going to talk about gross national product. In short, we can say GNP. GNP refers to market value of all final goods and services which are produced by a citizen of one nation only. GNP refers to market value of all final goods and services which are produced by citizens of one nation only, no matter where they are located. For example, some citizens of India are doing work in USA, some are doing work in UK, some are doing work in Japan. Whatever income they will earn, it will calculate in India GNP, not in USA, UK and Japan GNP because uh, their family live in India. Eventually, they will send their income in India. That's why whatever income they will earn, it will calculate in GNP. Because in GNP, we include a market value of all final goods and services which are produced by a citizen of one nation only, no matter where they are located. Now, we will see formula of calculating GNP. GNP equal to GDP plus net factor income from abroad. We have already discussed about GDP and net factor income from abroad. In short, we can say that NFIA is mainly difference between factor income received from abroad and factor income paid to abroad. And formula of calculating GNP is GDP plus net factor income from abroad. Or we can say that GNP equal to GDP minus P plus R. Uh, GDP we have already discussed. P means income paid to foreign and R means income received from foreign. Now we are going to talk about net national product. In short, we can say the NNP. Formula of calculating NNP is NNP equal to GNP minus depreciation. Means 
when we minus depreciation from GNP, it will become equal to NNP. We have already discussed about GNP. And as we know, value of asset decrease over a time period due to use, it will be called depreciation. For example, company purchased a machine at 1 lakh rupee. And life of this machine is 5 years. Every year, its value reduced by 20,000. This 20,000 will be called depreciation. Similarly, we will calculate depreciation from other goods. And when we minus depreciation from GNP, it will become equal to NNP. NNP is our net national product. Next is net domestic product. In short, we can say NDP. When we minus depreciation from GDP, it will become equal to NDP. NDP means net domestic product. Now we are going to talk about measurement of national income. First method to measure national income is value added method. According to this method, we can calculate national income by some total of value which is added by each producing unit. According to this method, we can calculate national income by some total of value which is added by each producing unit. As we know, there are so many producing unit and each producing unit adds some value in product. When we do total of value which is added by each producing unit, it will be called value added method of calculating national income. For example, firm A buy groundnut from firm B and prepare oil with this groundnut. Firm buy groundnut from firm B at rupees 30. And when firm prepare oil with this groundnut and sell this oil in market at rupees 50. 50 minus 30 is equal to 20. So we can say this 20 rupees is value which is added by this firm A. Formula of calculating value added is value of output minus value of input or we can say that value of intermediate goods. Here our value of output is 50 and value of input is 30. 50 minus 30 is, is equal to 20. This 20 rupees is value which is added by a form A. Now with the help of this example, we will clearly understand value added method. Here in first column, we have production stages. Second column, we have value of output. Third column, we have value of input or we can say the cost of intermediate good. Last column, we have value added. Formula of calculating value added is value of output minus value of input. So what is value added by land owner? value of their output is 50 means market price of their output is 50 and here we assume value of input is 0 50 minus 0 is equal to 50 50 is value added by uh, land owner here we assume and uh, value added by timber producer is value of their output or we can say the market price of their output is 100 and value of their input is 50 100 minus 50 is equal to 50 50 rupees is value added by timber producer and value added by uh, furniture producer is value of their uh, output is uh, 200 and value of their input is 100 200 minus 100 is equal to 100 100 rupees value is added by uh, furniture producer similar we will calculate for furniture seller and the total value of their product is equal to 600 and total value of their input is equal to 350 and formula of calculating value added is value of output minus value of input when we minus the 350 from 600 it will become equal to 250 so we can say that 250 rupees is total value added by each producing unit so this 250 rupees will called total value added by each producing unit or we can say this 250 is equal to GVA at MP. That means gross value added at market price. This 250 rupees is equal to GVA at MP, which means gross value added at market price. And GVA, uh, GVA at MP is equal to GDP at MP. GDP at MP means gross domestic product at market price. These both are equal to each other. So now we have GDP at MP, but we need to calculate national income. As we know, national income is equal to NNP at FC, that means net national product at factor cost. With this GDP at MP, we will calculate NNP at FC. First of all, we will calculate NDP at FC. NDP at FC means net domestic product at factor cost. When we minus net indirect tax and depreciation from GDP at MP, it will become equal to NDP at FC, which is net domestic product at factor cost. 
Now, with this, we will calculate uh, net national product at uh, factor cost, in short, NNP at, uh, at FC. When we add uh, net NFI, NFI means uh, net factor income from abroad. When we add net factor income from abroad in GDP, uh, GDP at FC, it will become equal to NNP at FC. And NNP at FC is our national income. Now we are going to talk about income method to calculate national income. According to this method, we can calculate national income by adding all factor income in form of wages, rent, interest and profit. As we know, there are mainly four factors of production, labor, land, capital and entrepreneurship. Income of labor is wages, income of land is rent, income of capital is interest, income of entrepreneurship is profit. And according to this method, when we add all factor income in form of wages, rent and interest and profit, by this we can calculate uh, our national income. And there are uh, mainly five component of factor income. First is compensation of employees. Second is rent and royalty. Third is interest. Fourth is profit. And last is mixed income. One by one we discuss about each component. First component is uh, compensation of employees. And compensation of employees include wages in cash. Wages in kind, employer's contribution in social scheme. Wages in cash means monetary benefit. Wages, uh, bonus, uh, commission, etc. And wages in kind means non-monetary benefit. For example, house, car, etc. And employer's contribution in social uh, scheme include uh, provident fund, gratuity and pension plans. Second component is rent and royalty. We all know about rent which we receive from land or building. Royalty means the payment paid to individual for the use of their intellectual property. For example, a book author receive a payment from publisher every time their book sold in market. Interest. Here we only include interest on loan which is taken for production purpose only, not any other interest rate. Uh, next is profit. Profit mainly distributed into three parts, corporate tax, dividend and retained earning. Corporate tax means tax paid by a firm to government on a profit which they earn. And dividend is part of profit which we give to shareholder. And retain earning is part of profit which we keep as a reserve to handle uncertainties in business. Last component of factor income is mixed income. Mixed income is generated by unincorporated enterprises and self-employed individuals. Uh, for example, small shopkeeper, retailers, barbers or doctor running his own clinic. And when we add all component of factor income like compensation of employees, profit, rent, royalty, interest and mixed income, it will become equal to NDP at FC. And when we add NFIA which is our net factor income from abroad in NDP FC, it will become equal to NNP at FC. As you know NNP at FC is our national income that means net national product at factor cost and which is equal to our national income. Next method of calculating national income is expenditure method. According to this method, we can measure national income by some total of final expenditure which is incurred by household, businesses, government and foreigners on our country product. As we know, household, businesses, government and foreigners buy our country product or we can say do some expenditure on our country product. And in this method, we calculate national income by some total of final expenditure which is incurred by household, businesses, government and foreigners on our country product. Actually, here through expenditure, we want to know national income of our country. As we know, expenditure of someone is income of someone else. For example, this marker is my expenditure, but, but income of shopkeeper. Na? So, in this method, through expenditure, we want to know national income of our country. Now, we will see component of final expenditure. First component is private final consumption expenditure. Second, government of final consumption expenditure. Third is gross domestic capital formation. Gross domestic capital formation mainly have two parts, gross fixed capital formation and inventory investment. Last component is net export. One by one we discuss about each component. First component of total expenditure is private final consumption. Private final consumption include expenditure done by household and private non-profit institution on all type of consumer goods. For example, TV, mobile, AC, etc. Government final consumption uh, expenditure include expenditure done by government. For example, expenditure done by government on defense, law and order and on education etc. 
नेक्स्ट इज ग्रोस डोमेस्टिक कैपिटल फॉर्मेशन ग्रोस डोमेस्टिक कैपिटल फॉर्मेशन इंक्लूड ग्रोस फिक्स कैपिटल फॉर्मेशन एंड इन्वेंट्री इन्वेस्टमेंट ग्रोस फिक्स कैपिटल फॉर्मेशन मीन्स एक्सपेंडिचर डन ऑन फिक्स एसेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन मशीन टूल्स इक्विपमेंट एसेट्रा एंड इन्वेंट्री इन्वेस्टमेंट बेसिकली सी चेंज इन स्टॉक ऑफ रॉ मटीरियल फिनिश गुड्स एंड सेमी फिनिश गुड सो दैट वी कैन एग्जैक्टली नो हाउ मच स्टॉक वी एड और बाय इन दिस ईयर लास्ट कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ टोटल एक्सपेंडिचर इज नेट एक्सपोर्ट नेट एक्सपोर्ट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन वैल्यू ऑफ इम्पोर्ट एंड वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट इन दिस फॉर्मूला X is the value of export and M is the value of import. When we minus the value of import from value of export, it will become equal to net export. When we add all component of final expenditure like private final consumption, government final consumption, gross domestic capital formation and net export, it will become equal to GDP at MP. And when we minus net indirect tax. and depreciation from gdp at mp it will become equal to ndp at fc and when we add nfia which is our net factor income from abroad in ndp at fc it will become equal to nnp at fc as we know nnp at fc is our national income that means net national product at factor cost which is our national income so this is all about uh, uh, concept and measurement of national income i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care